What is going on YouTube? Run Good Life coming at you with yet another video and today is kind of a throwback video. This was actually a video that I wanted to include in my birthday week series, but I was not able to get any of this product here during my birthday week. Um, but thankfully, a local trip up, not even local, it is a quite a drive up to Ferndale, Washington to JEKK Sports Cards. Uh, and they happen to have some of these and uh, I couldn't pass them up. Me and my wife were just stopping through the town of Ferndale. We wanted to stop and see the shop and route up to Birch Bay and Blaine, which is near the Canadian border, where we spent a weekend. And um, yeah, I wanted to check out the shop. And sure enough, he had so much throwback baseball from like 2012 all the way up to 2020. And I saw these and I said, well, I can't. I was going to buy two. And then I saw the third one. You can't leave the last blaster. You can't leave the last cello pack, of course. And then on my way out, I saw on his wall of blasters behind the, the counter, I saw the blaster of 2017 Topps Chrome, and I said I had to have that too. So my, 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 my. As you can see by the sticker prices, I paid $38 a cello and about $80 for the blaster, I believe, uh, which I'm very happy with. The price of this stuff has steadily gone up. I try to open 2017 Topps Chrome about once per year, usually a jumbo box or a hobby box. Um, but I guess this year we're doing some retail, which is cool. I haven't done some retail in quite a while. Uh, now, you might be wondering, why 2017 Topps Chrome? Well, it does have a stellar rookie class consisting of Aaron Judge. Forget about it. Cody Bellinger and Alex Bregman, but also two of my main PC guys as well. I think a lot of you guys know that I'm a big Mitch Hanniger collector. I do have the Topps Chrome Superfractor Auto right here. This is my white whale. And then I also have a red refractor auto. I have three of the non-red refractor autos as well. Um, so I'm going for all 10 red refractors. That is one of my collecting goals. My other goal is to find the other superfractor. I will look for you. I will find you. I have not surfaced to my knowledge. I've checked eBay every single day. Uh, got this one last year after looking for three years. Um, so I'd love to add the other superfractor to it. Uh, so why not try and bust it and hit it ourselves? I would be happy just to see any Hanniger. Uh, the other collect, the other player I collect is, of course, yet another former Mariner now, and it is Daniel Vogelbach. Uh, just I love Vogie to death. He is now with the Brewers. This is shot to right field. No question that another dinger off the of hole. Uncharted territory, Daniel Vogelbach. Spent some time last year, I think actually one game with the um, Blue Jays before landing over with the Brewers and uh, got a job out of uh, out of spring training. And I'm just a, just a huge fan of this kid. So maybe we can hit some of that. Uh, let's go ahead and kick things off with the cello packs. Of course, I think the bigger hunt obviously is Judge and Bregman and um, Bellinger. Obviously, those are going to be the ones that hold more value. The more sentimental value are my PC guys, of course. I believe you also have Matt Chapman, Matt Olson from um, from uh, Oak uh, Oakland, and I think you also have Yon Moncada in this set as well, just to name a few. I know there's a few others as well, but those are the ones that are coming off the top of my head. I'm trying to remember, I don't think there's any big pitchers as well. Let's set the blaster off to the side. We'll come back to that. All right, so each cello we are going to get three packs and then a pink two-card pack, I believe, as well. Let's hit in there and judge. That would be cool. I would be perfectly okay with a judge. Dansby Swanson, another really good name from the set. Um, so we have Swanson, Corey Seager, Felix the King, and a Freddie Freeman. The odds, I looked at the odds of hitting a red. It looks like 1 in 30,000 for a non-auto and 1 in 100,000. Again, those refractors are going to be tough pulls out of retail, but you never know. Christian Arroyo for San Francisco Giants. Not sure where he's playing now. And Brandon Belt. Final pack here, cello number one. We do have the pink pack as well. I'm seeing Max Kepler on the top. On the top excuse me. We have Dellen Batance, Corey Kluber, Brandon Crawford. That is going to be a refractor. Don't think that is a short print. And a Zach Britton. Britton. All right, our pink pack. Just a fun rip. I was hoping to do this last week, but hey, it's cool that I got to do some around my birthday. I'm happy about that. 
So we have Kepler yet again. Hey, there we go. There's my PC dude, Vogi. I got one of those, but I will take another one. Always cool when you pull something for the PC. Shout out Mr. Shy City Pools on the gimmick infringement right there. Danny Vogelbach. I will take that. The great Dan Bino. We do have a meme group on Facebook dedicated to Mariner's Chat and now Jared Kalenic memes, but before that we were 100% Vogie. And then, of course, Daddy Cerveis had to had to let him, or not Cerveis, Daddy uh, Depoto had to let him go. Tyler Austin for the Yankees. We're looking for Aaron Judge right there. And Ian Desmond. All right, so we found Vogie. Now we got to find Mitch, of course. How about another Dansby Swanson? We have Carlos Martinez going to be our refractor. Braden Shipley, rookie, and a Nick Castellanos. There are plenty of good 2021 products. I don't know why I'm ripping 2017 when so many good stuff. Hey, we'll take a second, Dan. I'm all about that. And a Bregman, I believe these are 1983s. 87, man, I was so far off. I'm brilliant. I was so far off. 87, that wood grain design. Why was I Why was I thinking 83? 87 Bregman insert. And another Danny. All right, our two-card pink pack. We've got Evan Longoria, who smashed one on opening day against my Mariners, but came back and took the win against San Francisco, so I will take that. Dustin Pedroia. I believe he has a triple threads card with the nickname the Muddy Chicken. And Hunter Dozier, who I'm actually pretty high on this season. I think he could have a good turnaround uh, season. Him and uh, Renfro, actually. I like both of them this year. We have Guriel. Forgot he was a rookie. We have Buster Posey. I'm a big fan of Posey. Him and Longoria went, went yard on uh, opening night against my Mariners. Posey Refractor, a Ledmiz DS. And Craig Kimbrell with the funniest pose in all of baseball. All right. Let's continue, shall we? Carlos Correa. David Dahl. 87, Yo Moncada. And a Nelly Cruz. Crazy that Nelly Cruz is still going strong into his 40s. But man, that guy can mash. I wish the Mariners would have kept him for a couple more years, actually. As I'm looking at the pink pack and seeing Andrew McCutcheon, the other name, and hearing Josh Bell. Josh Bell, good rookie class in the 2017 Topps Chrome set. We have Aaron Sanchez, Christian Yelich, Nomar Marzara, Future Stars, and a Eduardo Rodriguez. All right, so we missed... Other than the base refractors, we did miss any color, unfortunately, in the cello pack. It's always tough to hit color out of a cello pack, but maybe we'll see something a little bit better in our blaster. We've got McCutcheon, Ender Enciarte, rookie. Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. That's who we want to see. That's what I'm talking about. That is definitely who we want to see, one of the top two rookies in the set. Aaron Judge, pink refractor. I will take that all day long. Uh, just a great card. If PSA wasn't shut down, I would be immediately sending this their way, but I'm just going to have to hold on to it now and see maybe if we go SGC or CG, CSG or, um, you know, HGC, so many names. I just threw, I just confused myself. Uh, that is great. That is what we were looking for out of the cello packs, basically. That is probably the best hit to expect. Obviously, you can hit crazier stuff, but never expected all right, let's move on. We have a blaster box. Uh, always, always a fun rip. 32 cards total, 7 cards, and a bonus chrome pack. I'm not sure what the bonuses were out of blasters this year. I'm trying to remember, and I just can't. I know it's not X-Fractors. I guess we're going to have to sweat it out because I can't remember. They might be the sepias, actually. Um, but I am going to save the box. I do like to display some of the products that I open. I know a lot of people who have the the non-top down, you know, the camera in front of them. They like to display their stuff right there. I can't do that, but I do like to put these up on my wall. So 
Let's see what else we can find. I'm just stoked we hit that judge. That is a great looking judge. We have Tyler Naquin. D. Gordon, Miami. Josh Bell, good rookie right there. And a Kenta Maeda Cup. These four card packs are always a little tricky to open. It always just seems to be a lot of air in the pack. Joe Musgrove, George Springer, Yon Moncada again on the 87, and a Roman Quinn for Philly. The Phillies, Philly, Philly, Philly. That's funny. A little cheater on the back. Robert Jesselman on the front. Gary Sanchez, Future Stars. Jonas Cespedes, and there is that Altuve. We've got Brad Ziegler. Hey, Edwin Diaz, man. We fleeced the Mets in that trade for Jared Kalenic. Refractor Diaz. We have a negative. These are actually pretty hard to hit. JT Realamuto. Don't believe these are numbered. They are rumored to be short printed to 50, but non numbered. But definitely hard to hit on the negatives. But I definitely have one of those of both my dudes, uh, Danny and also Mitch. But that should take away any other opportunities we have for color. Of course, we can still hit an auto or something like that, but. Don't think we're going to see any other color in the blaster. I could be wrong. George Springer on the 87. We have Cole Hamels. And Archie or Jaggy Bradley Jr. Max Kepler. Hey, hey, our third Daniel Vogelbach. Third time is a charm. We have a then and now Jacob deGrom. Some of these can be confusing. I think the Buster Posey actually has his first Bowman auto. A lot of people thought they hit an auto, just like in 2021 with the top set that has some of the crazy one-on-ones that they've hit the through the year set. Always stupid when they do a printed on auto like that. Always just confuses new collectors. So third Daniel Vogelbach of the video. I will take that. And I was right. The, ba the bonus cards are, in fact, the Sepia Refractors. Sepia, Sepia, I'm not quite sure. Depends on how you want to say it. Tomato, tomato, you know. Dylan Batance, Corey Kluber. We do have a Hyper. It's going to be Manny Margot. On the, they actually call this Prism, I think. Prism Refractor. P-R-I-S-M. And Zach Breeton. All right. Get into our final pack here. These are going to be our sepia, sepia, however you want to say it. Don't want to, don't want to upset anybody. Let's see if we can find ourselves a Mitch Hanniger who is yet to show up. I will take another Aaron Judge or a Cody Bellinger. Not complaining if we see either of those guys. We have former Mariner alert, Adrian Beltre. Chris Sale. Ben Zobrist. And Yadi Molina. All right, though, I would consider that a success. Some okay stuff right here. The negative Real Mudo is pretty nice. The Alex Bregman, the Daniel Vogelbach pink, always good for the PC. Best card in the video, I think, without a question. Gonna be the pink Aaron Judge, non-numbered refractor, but hey, that is a great card, number 169 in the set. Yeah, that one's gonna be a potential grading candidate down the line, too. Looks pretty dang sharp to me. Corners look good. Surface did not see too much wrong with it, so I am very happy. Overall, not too bad of a rip. You know, about 40 bucks a cello and about 80 for the blaster, about $200 rip. Don't know what this card is worth raw, let alone in PSA 10, but hey, I'm not even, I don't even care about the money in this one. This one is just about doing a product that I love. Sometimes you just gotta do a product you love, right? I did it all last week, and now I'm doing it again today with 2017 Top Scrum. Typically I do a hobby box, but we will do some retail this year. That is gonna do it for me today. If you are new here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you wanna join the membership, you also get access to two additional series a month, the Run Good Uncut series, and the TVMA, which is a little too hot for the daily videos. That is gonna do it for me today. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.